How's it going, guys? How's it going? It's the one, the only Mr. Trench. Well, this is why we do pre-trip inspections. This tire was actually completely flat a few minutes ago. But with the right tools, such as an airline that's hooked up to the glide hand of my truck and replacement parts, we should be able to fix this. Now, if I remove this cap that's here, it's all it's going to do is leak air. Uh, pretty badly, in fact. You can hear that it's a pretty bad leak. The air stem is completely shot, so all I gotta do is unscrew the old one and put a new one in there, and hopefully it should work, and hopefully those are the right size ones. If not, well, then I guess I'll have to make a little trip to the shop, and thankfully this truck stop actually has one. It's a pretty decent shop here, too. Um, but yeah, I just gotta see if I can open up this package real quick. I'm just gonna use my teeth, screw it. Give you guys a look at what this is. So, this is basically what this is. It's a it's a core. Um, hold on. Put the camera in the right direction. It might help. Just a teeny tiny little core, and it's just a little valve that you know stops the air from flowing. And um, yeah, it's fairly simple. Just guys, make sure I stick it in the right way, and we should be good to go. And hopefully. It'll stop leaking air because it's already leaking air. See, its tires already starting to look a little bit more flat. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. All right, I gotta put the camera down for this. All right, so you guys are not gonna believe this. Uh, there was a rock stuck in there. So if I tighten this thing back up, <laughs> wow. I'm still gonna go ahead and replace the core anyways because there was a rock lodged in there. Um, I don't know where it went. There's too many tiny, tiny little pieces of rocks, but I seen, I seen it fly out. That's hilarious. Um, if I push down on this. Look at that, did you see that? Did I catch that on camera? Oh my goodness, there's stuff flying out of it. <laughs> Let's see if I could do that again. Let's see if I could do it again. Hopefully I catch it on camera. There's something else comes out. Oh, oh. It's actually kind of difficult. Yeah, a teeny tiny little piece of something flew out. We're gonna go ahead and pop it off and uh, replace it because uh, if there's debris that's lodged in there, then we need to get it out. Again, I can't, it's a two hand job. There's a, this tire's got about 100 PSI in it right now. Well, less, it's got less, but still. Um, yeah, we're gonna pause it. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a two person job. Look how much flatter the tire looks now. Uh, yeah, it was debris. There was definitely debris stuck in there. It's crazy because normally I put these specialized uh, caps in there uh, on top, which would just get screwed in there. And uh, that stops all the debris from getting in. Um, but it happens. Uh, it probably means I need to get a new cap. Don't want to over tighten it because it'll actually strip it and then it'll just explode again. But yeah, holy crap though, that thing, it exploded full air. Just, just everything gushed out all at the same time. Um, there was definitely debris in there. I wish I would've caught that on camera, but then I would've had another flat tire, so. Whatever, now I'm gonna start the truck back up and take this hose that's connected to the glide hand and we're just gonna reinflate. But uh, yeah, guys, um, that's why you always gotta do pre-trips. Got another tire back there that needs a little bit more air as well. And uh, you know, we'll be all right. This tire needs a little bit of air. I think it's at 80 PSI right now too. So it might also need uh, air stem. During the winter time, um, things can get a little bit uh, nasty. But uh, check it out uh, for, my, for my driver friends out there. Check this out. It's just an airline. This, this, this is a trick to save you a whole lot of money, okay? You get the airline and you run it all the way to the glad hand, the red airline to the truck. Just like that. Look at that connection. Um, that way you ain't got to rely on truck stops to get air, you ain't got to rely on any of that. Because if not, it gets expensive really fast. Um, you know, you, you could be in the middle of a shipper and receiver and have to top off your supply sometimes. That's just how it is. If you can't do that, well then your tires get worn out. So uh, make sure to do your pre-trips, my drivers. Be safe. I love you. Jesus loves you. So do I. And remember, God's holiest army is a bunch of dirty truckers. I'll catch you next time. Oh! Little bonus content for y'all, cause uh, y'all know I like the two A stuff here. You know, while I'm uh, pulling up my tires, yeah, I got the BB gun on me. <laughs>
Can't be too careful while you're working, just saying. This is a super single, so it's gonna take a while. Sheesh. <laughs>